All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cheese League July 2023. My name is Kaiser. We're here live at the University of Adelaide um, in South Australia. And um, we've got a melee round robin coming up. We've got myself, McLeod, Swagman, Caleb, and Grim Tuesday, aka Mason, here. So we're going to be getting started very shortly. Um, for now, folks, I'm just going to see how we're going with you know what. And uh, I'm going to post the stream out, so stay tuned. Alright, I've gone and posted the stream out everywhere. Um, we should be getting started very soon, everybody. Alright, one second. I'll check in with McLeod, see how we're going, and we will get the show on the road. Okay.
right, up first we have me versus Swagman. Um, I'll update the bracket link as well. What's up, Jimo?
That's what we got. Kai vs. Swagman. I haven't actually seen these two play before. I really love this matchup though from Falco. Well, from both's perspective, really. It's obviously really tough for Captain Falcon, but when you do get those openings, it's like the juiciest punishes you can possibly imagine. So, let's see if Swagman's been able to pull any of those together. The moment's just getting a little too outpaced in his movement. His, his decision making is not too bad, but he's not really finding any openings. Oh! You know, if there was a time to Falcon Punch, that might have been it. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, he's a bit too happy with those side Bs. I'm mostly speaking from Swagman's perspective here, because I feel he's, uh, he's a bit of the underdog in this situation. The, um, you might notice he's uh, attacking in the opposite direction somewhat, and. You may be attributing those to tech flubs, but I assure you, only some of them would be tech flubs. Uh, this is a new strategy that Swagman is adopting. I'm not sure if it's actually a trade secret, and I shouldn't be revealing it, but uh, he's attacking the opposite direction. I believe it's as some sort of a bait, uh, but it may go much deeper than that. It's The way he described it was more akin to a religious movement, so I don't want to... <laughs> that Falcon Punch was a little more hopeful than the previous one. Still, the side B is just getting punished. I think versus Falco, it's really not the way, as um, the retreating water cancel back air is too easy a response to it. Falco's always looking for that stuff. I think Falco's up tilt as well will often clank with the side B, so it's it's a little tricky. Right, where's Swagman gonna go? He's doing his pondering face. The dog. It wasn't about where he's going to go, it was what characters he choosing. Doc on FD, let's see it. Let's see some chain grabs. I believe. I've never seen this so I've played this character before. But... Okay, okay. I kind of like what I'm seeing. I mean, Kai's no stranger to Dr. Mario. He's had to play against Tish in some uh, pretty nail-biting sets recently. It is, in fact, Mason on the mic. Hello, Polion. Hello, everyone who's tuned in. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I got here just in the nick of time. I was not aware that there even was a tournament on today, but I'm here. It's pretty fly. It's really... It's one of those events that you're going to think, if you miss this, you really missed out, you know? There's no replacing today's Sunday Cheese League. Mango Muncher is determined to beat me next local. I'm out with you. Oh, okay, cool. Bring it on, Mango Muncher. Have you been to a local yet? Like one that I haven't been to? Coffee showing the Swagman support, and honestly, it's pretty justified at the moment. I got a bit distracted reading the chat there, but Swagman is keeping it insanely competitive with Kai at the moment. The surprise pink Dr. Mario pick. Just as I say that, he starts to get bodied a little bit, but I, I ain't counting this. Oh! The up the eight. Yeah, yeah, unfortunate. Because the Kai is a seasoned player, you know, you might get him with a few gimmicks early on, but the question is do you have enough? 
take all four of the stocks. I mean, stocks can go quickly, but when the other player knows what, what to avoid, stocks can take a very long time to actually deplete. Once about eight years ago, once a month ago. Yeah, definitely do. I'm trying to come frequently now as well. Um, it's one of those things where the more people that come, the more people will come. It sort of feeds like a, well, a feedback loop, you know. Positive feedback loop. All right, Kai kills himself with that stock, but at 137, it's probably justified. Now, he's going to sit it out on the support platform so Kai gets a bit antsy. Starts firing his lasers. If I was Swagman, I'd be looking for some kind of reverse from the other ledge here. Yeah, like something like this, and then... Yeah, see, I don't know, pushing him back towards stage. These things, Falco can be, like, deceptively heavy and hard to finish off. He's... He's notorious for being like, oh, you know, it's super easy to kill Falco, but there is a bit of like an inbuilt Marthritis factor to playing against Falco, where if you don't finish him off early, he can kind of hold on to those stocks. Like, his defense game is just so strong. I mean, how are you getting in against these lasers up till it counts back in? That, that's the games. And I think I probably have to play someone now, so I'll head off. Have, I will get off mic, but. Keep watching, everyone. There's still plenty more good melee to come. Yeah, very nice try, Swag, man. Nice try, dude. That was... <laughs> no, I've only played uh, Caleb, so I don't... Oh, all right. What's up, everybody? Oh, we have a nice amount of people here. How are we going, folks? So, yes, yes, this is a round robin format. So, we're going to have a few matches on stream today. Um, folks, let me know. Yeah, uh, me and Caleb? Okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to go play Caleb, and uh, we've got Swagman and Mason up next. And we're starting on... Odd, it seems. Cool. All right, great start, everybody. <laughs> great start. What? All right. Sorry, I'm gonna go play Caleb now. Hello gamers. Is this actually a one o up to Swagman? Do we know? Anyone know in chat? If so, we love Swagman. Okay. Alright, thank you. Swagman did take first game of Mason last week, so who knows? Who knows? Oh my god, Nana saving Mason's ass right there. That's crazy. Let's go Swagman. Actually, such a huge Swagman fan, I won't lie. In person, online, not as much. Oh, good recovery by Mason. Actually getting the... Because you can't snap to ledge until the like, very end of the, the side B animation. You have to be above ledge too. Smart. Ooh, great grab to the top platform. And that should be a handoff because you're on the edge of the platform. Down throw... Oh, okay, doesn't... I feel like if you're ice climbers, you kind of have to learn to take that all the way. you got to take your wobbles when you land the wobbles. It's just conditional wobbles now. Nice, tech chase is good. Down smash needs to tech those. Those like like why are you going low if you're not taking? I do not understand. I wonder if when you grab on the edge of the platform, if it's both sides of the platform or like the side close to the boss I don't know. I need to ask someone how ice climbers works. 
That character is uh, kooky and crazy. Great power shields by uh, Mason. Falcon Aerial's not real. They can't hurt you. I just noticed the twink tag by uh, Psyman. Or twonk. Twank? Good grab. My golly gosh, I'm tired tonight. But you know what? I'm here. Not a bad first game from uh, good old Swaggy, but Mason, honestly, pretty clean in a lot of spots, so you know. It's hard. Twonk. Townk. Town K. What other word? Big foot. Oh, down throw. Oh, you gotta tap the up on. Tap the up on. You can't be letting him get away with that. Oh, no, foot smash. HPD. Ice Climber just goes pop once Falcon gets good at this. Wait, Ice Climber is just dead here. But unfortunately, Swagman not quite at that level. To be fair, Falcon also very dead whenever caught by anything Ice Climb is related. Big misledge dash by Boy Mason. Oh my god. How are we going in chat tonight? Ooh, 17 viewers. Love to see that. Jab grab. I hate Icy's jab grab because it's better than other jab grabs because there's two of them and one of them is delayed. It's so. so cringe. Hello, MT. How are you going? I love to hear that gun. Big back air. Ooh, and the swagman. I'm gonna cut. Look, the swagman is just shield drop through top platform me. I'm good, MT. I'm very tired. I went to bed at like. 4 a.m. last night because of Catherine's party. You know, and that's why Catherine and Muscat on here, because they got owned even harder than I did. But you know what? We troopers, we show up to our Sunday our Sunday cheese leagues. And we enjoy it. I just love gaming. And I'd feel really bad if Kai fell up. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm here because I'd feel awful if Kai showed up with a full setup and uh, had three people come. I would be uh not letting that happen for little old Kai if I can help it. As long as I'm functional. Uh oh, spaghetti o It's Swagman taking the lead here. Honestly, showing out an ability to close out stocks and an ability to do decent call outs in neutral, I don't see why not. Could go either way. I'd love to see Swagman with two games this set. At least. It's not a win. I, I don't see why not. Swagman hungry for first, like... Wow! And we're down to Sopo. Swagman on that top platform. Loves that top platform. But on Ice Climbers, better at challenging it than people think they are. Ice Climb is just a little bit better of a character than people think they are. It's just most Ice Climbers players aren't very good. I wish we got to see more Slug. But that's, a, that's a bit of a shame. Oh! Big roll grab on the dash tag. Not quite it though. It's gonna end with a wave dash into a hitting down smash or a wave dash into a get hit by knee and that's gonna be... The former. Big clutch by Mason there. Good awareness to the edge guard. Why not? Do I do Mason? Sad for Swagman's in chat, please. Was not swag. Was cringe, if I do say so. Dun, dun, dun. 
I love Swagman's game of face, I won't lie. So good. I need to collect money off these people too. Oh, oh, is that the SA Nick Joker emote? That's good. Is there anything streaming? Like, it, I, like I haven't, I haven't been able to, I haven't been on when the SA Nick streams have been on. I did try and catch them. Oh, little dick. Love and miss SA Nicholas. I know. Uh, it would have been sick, actually. I will, if he keeps streaming, I will try to catch them. I'll be thinking about streaming again, but I don't know. Maybe, at some point. Who knows? Who knows? Oh. The swag man. Shield drops are in top platform knee. Ooh, instead of the swag man bait. I, I see, that it's got the mix up has two layers. We have a shield drop through top platform knee, and we have a shield drop through top platform double jump. So you bait them coming up, and if they don't come up, you knee. That's crazy. That's like, that's two layers. And then we have the back air? Wow, we're really, Swagman breaking the mold on the, the Yoshi Story top platform right now. Oh, we're going, I think that was going for a back air. Yeah, wow. This is just the game plan we have here. Uh, that should be a dead Falcon, but Mason's punish not quite there. Oh, big stomp on the top platform. Up air on Nana? No, up air on Nana. Goes for Popo, which if a little bit better executed, could have gone quite well. Oh, tries to get cheeky with it, and Mason with a little grin. Nah, not having any of it. Uh, I'm going back. Who do I have left? I have Kai and Mason, so I guess I can go on versus Mason after this. Then Swagman Caleb. What? What have we had? We haven't had Kai play Mason, and we haven't had me play Mason, and I haven't played Kai. That works. Out of these five gamers, which are you all most excited to see game tonight? We have Mason, Caleb, myself, Kai, and Swagman. We love. Twonk man going a bit, looking a bit of a twink man right now, I'll be honest, with how uh, short these stocks are. Looking a bit scarce. Oh, up here, down smash actually combos. Huh. Oh, that was a good shield. I hope dash actually. Good to see Mason Gaming getting better. Ooh, cool jump uh, call out for the top platform. GG's. Mason destroying the Falcon Snipe. Well, kind of. It was 3 1 in the other one, but you know. Alright, Mason, you got me next. I'll have Mason, and then you'll have Mason, and you'll have me. Okay, folks. Kai is back on the microphone. What's up, everybody? How are we going? Okay, um... Let's quickly update the bracket while we're here. Because I do have the power to do that. Um, but it looks like we're actually getting straight into it. Yeah, this is real. This is definitely real. 100% real. I wonder why McLeod picks, like, what the situation is when um, McLeod picks the green peach. Something I've always been curious about. Alright, how are we going in chat, by the way? Is, um, the, does the microphone or the game volume need to go up or down? Let me know. Let me know. He's feeling icky because green is yuck. That makes sense, actually. So smart, Yosh. That is so smart. Yeah, um, let me know if I need to turn up the microphones or the game volume up or down. If it's all good, then it's all good. And that makes me happy. Very good. So, so far, it, you know, it's not looking too bad for Mason because, you know, it is, um, it is Icy's Peach. It's pretty hard. Pretty hard fucking matchup, I will say.
Um, but I like it when Mason sort of like got a bit of a fighting spirit. Like, they're a real trooper to be playing kind of Icy's this dedicated for this long, you know? Damn, that's some beefy sounds, let me tell you. And the has got a bit of a murder face on, if I do say so himself. Oh, it's so rough. You know, I was, I'm gonna say it. Mason probably has the best air dodges in this whole fucking country. He has the best. Just straight up. Haven't played against a single person who has, you know, shown me better. Right, well... Mason gets a scarf. Very happy to see that. I would be even happier if he takes one more, but Nana is kind of inting at the moment, and yep, that's that. You know, fair enough. Not much you can do in that spot after Nana kind of decides to peace out, so you know, that's just how it, the cookie crumbles. Um, I don't know where we're going to go, though, is the thing. Alright, Battlefield again, which is fair enough. I can't think of a, you know, a better stage for the Icy's other than maybe Yoshi's story versus, um, Peach? It's a bit hard to, it's a bit hard to know, you know? Cloud just doing such a good job of keeping these two climbers separated there. Oh, but great baits from Mason. And it's actually going to go up this game, which is very nice. McLeod, though? Oh, we have the... I think that's the... Um, not the extended, but the, like, enhanced version of the Skull Hammer. Mason was showing me that not too long ago, and I'm like, oh, damn. You get so much more height doing it that way. I don't remember what it is, but I think it's to do with, like... You know, you gotta like do a little like kind of Samus super wave dash flick back nonsense.
I had to quickly um, copy some VODs elsewhere, but I assume it was McLeod who took that game. Please somebody correct me in chat if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is what happened. Alright, um, I believe Kale's probably coming over to do some scores. Yo! Yeah, I've got the bracket right here. Let me score. You want 3 0? Cool, mate. We yeah. just haven't had the fucking game, so that's great. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Uh, you want 3 0? That's fine. I'll put it in. Um, so you've played. You played Mason in the cloud, haven't you? Yeah, then that's everybody. That's a GG. Okie dokie. Can you also set this up for me? What am I setting up? Oh, bracket? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to report and stuff. Yeah. Um. You can you can just do it on my computer here if you want. It should be fine. Um, yes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Yep. Uh, and I had done three over here, and it was Caleb. Caleb was three over Swagman as well, which is down here. Three one to Caleb. Ah, oh, sorry. Cool. And then we have. Okay. 3 to Mason, you say? <laughs> there we go. Cool. Is that is that it? Or you can do. It was three one. Cool. All right, and then you just put in yours. Three O. Thank you. Okay, okay. All right, I'll leave that with you. Twenty-two. Five more people have joined us. If you have joined by the time I've been gone, please say hi. We love seeing the support for the Australian local tournaments. Cloud versus Cloud versus This has been 
They've had a last hit set, a last hit set, but then I think the rest of it's been relatively clear favored, but a lot of the time it's it's closer than you expect. So, ooh, this should be an interesting one. I'm waiting for Mason's like first real set on the PR players. Either a Catherine or a Kai or whoever else shows up. We have Kai's Mason that's set up good. What do we have to left to play? We have, yeah, I think everything's set up cool. Okay. Ready? This is always an interesting matchup. I always feel so anxious for the the uh the Falco. But also it's just like, oh, I remember playing with Luigi and it's just like, if you get in, you get in, but sometimes it just feels so hard and you just get hit over and over and over again. But you've got to, you gotta, you gotta hit your execution, you gotta find that little sweet spot. And then the bird goes crumble, crumble. But the problem is, if you're not uh, confident in how to get that opening, it's your, the bird doesn't crumble actually. The bird gets hit for like 30 and then lives. You gotta finish it like that, you gotta finish that edge guard. If you're not finishing, if you're not finishing your food in these sorts of matchups, you just lose. Same thing for Peach Falco too, to be honest. You gotta kill him. Really, really gotta kill him, because otherwise he'll kill you, and he will be really, really hard to crack open. My golly gosh, I'm tired. Brain waves. Two clean stocks to Kai. <laughs> Let's go, Icy. <laughs> Thank you, the mayor of Earth. Big Ice Climbers fan. Boom. Mason getting a little bit owned right now. Slowing down. It's a great late nair by Kai, actually. I don't know. It feels like. Yeah, you gotta use. That was a good wait by Mason to realize Kai's just walling, but like, you gotta. Kai is not going to do the world's dumbest aerial, he's gonna do a slightly smarter world's dumbest aerial. And Mason, unfortunately, done with for the night with the ice climbers. Getting a bit frustrated with tech skill in my set, so uh, not, not super surprising. Um, unfortunately, we have to have this on stream, but it is. That's how this works. See, all sound effects are like... I don't know, there's something about them. They're, like, piercing, almost. Like, the up B and, like, the that sound? Like, it's just the... It's just one of the hot... Oh, I, I can't explain it, but it gets in my earworms. It's just, it just owns. Big back air. Needs to get another two of those, and then the stock will be done. 
Kai not looking to let it happen. No options out of shield because you are Zelda, unfortunately. Even with Kai with the semi-high aerial, you got nothing. What's Zelda gonna do? Grab? Doesn't work. Let's see we lost seven viewers to the to the Mason Zelda, which is uh, you know, that happens. Oh, I'm looking forward to playing Kai tonight. Oh, got a cover ledge there. That was not. I know Kai lives. Uh, DI is that correctly? I will DI up throw correctly a few times tonight. That is my goal. I will SDI up and in, up and in, up and in, and then sometimes up and out, but always up first. Always up first, and then a direction. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna do it. I promise. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I hate the sound of 500 kicks. And I will kick 500 times, and I will kick 500 more. I'm so happy Zelda's not good in this game. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ooh! Works. Makes sense. What else are you gonna do? I'm surprised there was, like, no laser to pressure the Zelda not doing anything. Like, you, you can just laser in place in that spot, and she can't really reach you. I guess she can dash attack with a zero? Uh. I feel like, yeah, lack of... Lack of... Lack of laser. Doesn't really matter, though. No, this should not be in the game. I guess she is, so we're here to watch it. Great double dip. Great sequence, in fact. Kai kinda good sometimes. A lot of the time, actually. Kai just good player. Who knew? I knew. Ready? Swagman go somewhere. Big bear. No, I'm gonna be honest. Not too much to talk about right now. Uh, there is the uh, Kai up two o. Yeah, it's data one. There we go. I am um, somewhat sleep deprived. I was up very late last night. Very, very late. But, you know what? We make it to these tournaments anyway. Yeah, like, that jab and, like, the, the like, four, like, all the, all the moves just, like, are earworms. They're just unpleasant. It's like, they put nails on a chalkboard at, like, like for, like, one frame in, like, every single one of her moves. And they're just like, <laughs> they won't notice. But I do. My ears notice. Uh, I could. Wow, nice fair. Good 18%. Big punish. You know what, Mango Rancher? You're right. Missing you here at this tournament. I hope you're able to make it to the next one. Ooh. Re reads a laser, laser with a reflector, but Kai one step ahead. This, these are the intense mix-ups you get from this set, by the way, guys. That's crazy that Kai didn't laser there. I thought I, I, I thought Kai was gonna laser there too, and then he didn't. It's like wow. Mason honestly not looking that bad, but you know you have to kill the Falco fast, and the Falco kills you. And unfortunately, Zelda needs to win neutral ten times to do that. So uh, 
Or Kai can run off the stage. That would work too, to be honest. But, uh... Unfortunate DI. Hell yeah, Mango. Yeah, exactly. Well, Zelda actually has, like, real punish. It's just, uh... Not unlocked. In this set. Oh! Power shield of the laser. Crazy. Ooh. Good, another good power shield, actually. Mason's power shield's not bad. I saw Mason power shield with, like, three Cyclone arrows. Mason laughing about something. Maybe it was something I said. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? We love Mason. Mason fans in the chat. Shine, late now. Good choice. And little tippy toes. That'll do it. 3 0 to Kaiser. So now we'll have Kai, me, and that will be up to three sets of that. I'm hoping two sets, and I'm hoping I win, but who knows? McLeod. Uh, and then Zero. And then I am playing Peach. Uh, chat, pick my Peach color for, for the night. First Peach color in chat is the color I will play. I'm feeling, uh. Is W? W is not a color, that's a bad copy. Alright, we can go white. For copy Rex, I will go Peach White. <laughs> I don't know, you could have been like ta accidentally tabbed out of your CSGO game and trying to move forward. I don't know. Praising my neutral, I also feel that it's pretty good, but obviously that doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I'm keen to watch this though, these guys are always, always put on a show. <laughs> no name entry glitch for the cloud. <laughs> Is anyone even still watching? Come on, shatters. Who do you want to win? Who's everybody want to win? It's been fine for fun. This is the classic SNC. Yes, Practicing the technical skill. No contest. So that you're in this one on the left, I see. Yeah. Oh wow, we have the technology. Yeah. No wonder no one was chatting, you guys didn't even realize that Kai was playing. How accurate can I get this? Let's, let's get him playing. Kai's gonna dance around in moves. Alright, game. Start on Pokemon State. This is like maybe the best matchup in the game, so I'm very happy, happy to have it like different locals. It's like, very exciting. To know.
I guess I should compensate you if no one's watching, just to uh, watch the back there. Let's see. My card is late right now. My card's going to be just weird. Hard to hear. The game sounds really loud. I don't know how to how to impact that because I am not I'm not a tech meister. I can try and talk louder. Does this help? If I talk a bit louder, I don't know how big the difference is, but is this the mic volume? Or that peak the mic? It's more like here. Alright, given the nature of the matchup, this is looking like the Cloud's game, but Kai could always close out this stock with a quick kill and then. Nope, never mind. Alright, on to game two. I assume we go to Yoshi's in this matchup. Hey Kai, how do I lower the game audio? No, like in, like just for everyone, because Spriggan said that it's like the, hard to hear, the game sounds really loud. So I'm sure if you just turn, like touch down, it'll be fine. It's that knob? Yeah. Okay, cool. For your ears, it's this one. Sure, and it was the fourth one along for game? Yeah. All right, so uh, Kai has informed me how to adjust the volume, so if there's any more concerns. To what? To, for me to hear it, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Ready? Go. <laughs> Yoshi Story is the logical counterpick versus the character that you can double shine off the top. And Kai just loves the lack of space as well. He just really aggressive player. I mean, both of these guys are very aggressive, but um, in this matchup, naturally, Falco is more the aggressor, and Peach just sort of like tries to weather the storm and find the punish. Oh, big grab. Nice. Really solid punish by McCloud. Oh, no, goodbye. It's at those moments it almost looks Armada-esque, but then uh, you can see where Armada would have just... I don't know how... Like, how many years of practice as a taker is it, you know? You just have to be built differently, but Armada didn't miss those, you know? Took him cloud like, a little extra step there, and he tagged on an extra hit. Still incredibly impressive punish game. That was that stock was almost, like, super clean. He did end up taking it. Um, <laughs> cheeky down smash into... Oh, beautiful. Completely stole that stock out of the down smash reversal and the well timed neutral air. McLeod running away with it. Phantom on the down air, but does eventually connect so the view to a multi hit move. Definitely can't quite count Kai out at this point, but it is looking grim. I'm not going to lie. Like, not just a matter of the score of the game, but uh, like that. Like, just the laser on platform. It feels like Kai's tech is just a little bit off, whereas McLeod's looking really clean for the most part. Uh, only in those really high percent situations does McLeod start dropping things. Whereas Kai's making... Oh, like that air dodge. Once again, Kai's making these errors at low percent, and it is really costing him. Double shine's just a bit too disconnected, and that'll do it. Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> I 
Shy guys making things a little interesting, but McLeod still ends up taking that game. No on to game three. I should probably update the score here. Hold on. Kai is on two. Go. Safe. Like that. Is there like an update button somewhere? Hey, there we go. Devastating zero to death. Hi, J. Jeff. J. Jeff. I'm on its own every day. I watched too much Daria when I was younger, and it just like permanently affected my manner of speaking. <laughs> That's fifty percent the truth. The other 50% is that I'm a very miserable person with nothing to get enthused about. Let's talk about Tiana and Square Mask. <laughs> My favourite subject. What can I say? I'm a big geometry buff when it comes to squares. So, uh... <laughs> this is... This is looking super donezo. Which, I just want to point out, I totally called it last game. I was saying, like, you know, Kai's looking done, and, uh... Yeah. I think his mentality's just not into that, unfortunately. I might have thrown him off his game by complaining about his uh, playstyle after he beat me. Nah. GG's. So we still have a grand final set to go. Uh, Kai has a set to so potentially bring it back, and then if he does, he would have to close it with another set. I'm not sure about doing grand finals for round robin. It seems a bit, uh, it's a bit grueling. But more melees to be played. It's never a bad thing, I suppose. little back air, some solid juggling for that stock. Seems like the Street Fighter boys were finished. Street Fighter 6, the new hot fighting game. Welcome to the chat table. It tells me that it's your first time commenting. Great to have you here. Well, you gotta give Kai credit. He, he got absolutely bodied last game, and now he is making it look super competitive. He, in fact, has the lead as of me saying this, which that's pretty damn good. I'm kind of not I feel like this stage is just getting better and better for Falco, honestly. I was talking with um, Gamook about it, that, uh, I mean, it's been true forever that Falco, like, camping laser under the side platforms is strong, but I feel like it's only getting stronger as time goes on, and we haven't had a lot of time in the metagame to fully explore Unfrozen Stadium as an option. Like, uh, Kai used to play before before we froze Pokemon Stadium, so he still has this, like, inbuilt muscle memory, like, I want to go to Yoshi's Story first, always Yoshi's Story, but I think there's an increasing argument that Pokemon Stadium could actually be the play, at least when you're getting outpaced in a technical sense. Seems like you know, Kai's getting a bit of a chance to warm up here. Um, to be anything with Peach, she doesn't, she doesn't actually have good movements, so, like, or good movement speed. 
she can't get from one side of the stage to the other side very quickly. So, on a stage like Pokemon Stadium, you do get a bit of room to breathe, get your tech skill better. Whereas on Yoshi's Story, you're just essentially getting mid up, which is exactly what happened last game. Now Kai's got a healthy, almost stock lead. Uh, McLeod looking to get a reversal. Yeah, and he does! Oh, beautifully done. And managed to survive as well. It could have gone a few different ways. One of them was uh, both players losing the stock, but no, McLeod managed to hang on with a trade from the Firebird. No up air KO from Kai. He's got to find a strong backer at this point. Maybe some kind of... Oh. More lasers, jab, down tilt, shine. It's not quite going to kill it, absent. There's the backer. Hello. Oh, he's turning the heat up. This is what you save save all your juice for. And unfortunately, down smash reversal. Oh. Very tragic. That was looking like a great comeback, but unfortunately just a frame or two too slow on that down air. Flips the down smash. It's about a few. This, I think, is fair enough, because Pokemon Stadium let him uh, warm up a bit. It might not actually be his preferred stage for the matchup, because once Kai is warmed up, his game plan, it seems, is to overwhelm McLeod. He just needs to actually get the text together to be able to do that without getting reversal and dying. So, oh, beautiful! Battlefield's almost like a uh, best of both worlds. I mean, you're getting the space to move around a bit like Pokemon Stadium, so if things start to go pear-shaped, he can always play a little bit defensive, start camping the top platform, etc. But, if he does want to go in, he gets much more room to uh, do his nasty platform combos. It seemed like on Pokemon Stadium, McLeod was DIing up a lot, imagining to stay, like, just out of range for up-air follow-ups or anything like that. It was always just a bit too high percent, so having that um, extra platform height to finish off the conversions might actually help Kai attack on more damage. Another down smash reversal. Alright, we take those. You've got a healthy 100% lead, so nothing to get too bitter about at this point, but that's the kind of thing where, combined with the way the last game ended, you can really tilt a guy, so McLeod would be looking to... Never mind. I was say, holding on to the stock. Still though, McLeod can uh, take this one early. With something like this. Oh, not quite. Good counterplay from Kai, gets back on stage. Oh, up air to fair, that was a beautiful conversion. Only two hits and uh, doesn't manage to skill the edge guard, but man, that is, that's some unconventional page stuff. I only really love that. Um, Kai transitions to a more patient play style. He recognizes that he has the lead, doesn't actually need to run in and try and force any situation. beautiful thing on this stage is that you can go for those rising back as is Falco, and uh, has maintained a consistent 100% lead for a while now. Cloud's not able to pull back the lead yet. Um, oh, nice back air. It's not a strong hit, but every little bit of percent puts the peach a little bit closer. So I was going to say before, it's great that you can do these like rising back airs on this stage and land on the top platform or mix up pretending to land on the top platform. Um, gives Kai, from this position where he has the lead, when Peach is at high percent, he can sort of just like cruise around the stage of back airs. You can sort of see in his movement there that he's just like throwing out auto cancel back airs to cover the ground, full hop back airs to cover um, the air and floats. And you can almost just do that left and right across the stage until Peach dies. It forces really technical defensive play from the Peach player without much effort from Falco's part. Oh, beautiful shorten. Yep, that was a weak down. That was a poorly timed down there, so that's what's going to happen to that. <laughs> nice kill. First double shine in the set. Alright, so that's 1-0 Kai? No, 1-1. Is it 1-1 that set? Yeah. 
Yeah. I forgot to update it at first game. Yeah. Yeah. Final station, we are in Chain Grab Town. It's interesting that the stage isn't like necessarily actually good for Peach versus Falco. Really, I can see, yeah, I mean, it simplifies the game so much. There is an argument to be made, I think, that you go uh, Fountain Dreams or even just back to Battlefield. And I don't know. Essentially, I feel like when you pick the stage, you're relying on... No? Obviously, you're relying on exactly this, but... Grab. Catch Spadia on the fourth throw to turn up now. Nah, that's gonna take the storm. I take back my skepticism. Cloud really knows what he's doing on the stage. Playing the ledges really well. I'll be to get out of the shine freshness. <laughs> I think you can back air and then re-grab ledge there, if I'm not mistaken. That definitely was not the right choice. Alright, some contemplative time in <laughs> it's about the walk back. Brilliant. Uh-oh. Alright, they're both loving. But a cloud can afford to flub. And that's not quite a really, really good recovery by Kai. Mixed up his options well there. Made it really tricky for McLeod to actually know how to respond, but that's gonna do it. 2 1 McLeod's favor. McLeod in wins bracket, so he is one game away from taking the tournament. Can Pi pull, Kai pull the comeback? Don't forget to hydrate. It's just a reminder to anyone watching. Your favorite players hydrate. Why don't you? Look after yourself. And look after others. Alright, we're back to Yoshi's. We've got game plan Kai. This is not going to be repeated of last time. This time, we got it figured out. See? See, look at this, he's trapped. He can't, he can't even get out for a second. Absurd. Zero to death. And not even uh, all in one nasty guy, he just like called out the movement over and over and over again. Oof! It's funny how many more hits it takes for um, Falco to do it, and then Peach just like. Clipsy with a down smash, aerial off stage, done. It must be hard to decide to down smash when you are a peach of McLeod's caliber because um, you have so many other options that are so threatening. I mean, like, he's got a really devastating chain grab punish game, he's got uh, his really tight float cancelled aerials. Uh, But he opts to down smash in some pretty clever situations. Ooh, quick finish off there. Cloud looking dominating on this level. He's really got his movement figured out at the moment. That'll do it. 
just need two more of those. The double jab down at no, up be on stage. It works because who's expecting an up be on stage? Neither player. Get up attack's not going to quite beat the up air there, but Kai's managing to live. Oh, that forward air was actually really close to doing some uh, mad work. That shine was also pretty close to filling off the top, but it's not quite going through that percent. No, 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 no. Kai really needs to notice when his follow-ups aren't actually going to get to the kill. Nah, GG's, guys. And that's the tournament. Well played. Hope everyone has, in chat has a good, good evening. Next week. And a good next week. Um, I'm going to start packing up, so see you all later. Thanks for tuning in. People always tune in, I always like... <laughs> I, I wrote me. I just copy us who won and I wrote me and a couple of people Kaiser on stream, but I was here.
All right, what's up, everyone? Thanks for watching. Um, we're going to be packing up right now. Um, congratulations to McLaren for winning that. Um, what else? VOD will be over um, at SA Smash TV on YouTube. We just hit the milestone of um, fucking 500 subs, which is awesome. So please subscribe to the VOD channel if you haven't already. And you know where to follow me on Twitter as well, at KP Kaiser. And make sure to follow the Couch Warriors accounts as well. Um, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to pack up and leave. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Uh, maybe I'll find someone to raid real quick. <laughs> Just when you thought you could get rid of me. Um... Um, okay, where the fuck? Melee. So. There's only so much execution you have out of shield. Whenever I think of shield, I don't really. So, we're the top fucking melee stream right now. We'll just raid Titus, I guess. I guess we'll raid Titus. Alright, peace out. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.